Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a dramatic reading of Steve Boy Hot Dog. And before we begin, I want to point out that this is just a single voice actor doing all these voices. These are not really canon voices. So if you've got another idea for a voice in your head, I encourage you to keep the ones that you've come up with. So without further ado, our story begins. My journey is vast and inscrutable. I am Steve, the Boy Hot Dog. And today is an unusual day. Profound. Perhaps even fecund. No, wait. Only profound. I was misusing the other word. Hey, you must be the new guy. It's true that I was new, but I have always been Steve. Yet she did not acknowledge my terrible curse. I have always been Steve. The boy normal! Perhaps she could be fooled. Great. Well, my friend and I were planning a jewelry swap sleepover, and I thought a normal guy like you might like to join us. I am aside my new dual identity. I am Steve, boy normal. I barely know you. My actions are preordained. Is free will lost? We can only answer this question. Steve, boy hot dog, do you desire to see a naked girl? Yes. Great, see you at my place, 7 p.m. I continued my duplicitous facade as boy normal. The day proceeded without incident, but I feared the student behind me was growing wise to the nature of my farce. My math teacher was a menacing lobster. He told us a funny story about his daughter. The girl from school hadn't provided me an address, nor a phone number, nor a name. Most people use their phones to find directions, but destiny, purpose rang for me. I couldn't answer the call, of course. The ringing was in my head. This house rang out like a siren. But whether an alarm or a siren of the Greek variety, Destiny was shy of clarity. I'm just saying, a hot dog suit isn't exactly deep cover. Maybe he's just weird, Linda. Yeah, well don't look now, but he already knew where to find us. I guess we're gonna have a sleepover. Steve, you made it. Without directions. Even though no one at school knows where I live. At least not without checking the student records. You are likewise one of my first human friends. Though of course not my only friend of any form. Today, this fellow is my friend too. Well, you came for the jewelry, right? Here, take it. Oh, right, the jewelry. Why are you giving me a dog's collar? I don't know my neighbors, they'll think I stole their dog. Dogs are always there when you need them. He loaned me his collar for the jewelry swap, and you should steal him, he's great. Well, it's been real and it's been fun, but not real fun. It's time to get off my frickin' lawn. Hey, Linda, didn't you invite him? We were promised a sleepover with Hot Dog Boy. Boy Normal. My name's Lena. I've been excited to meet you. I am the Boy Normal, a regular Hot Dog Boy. This is our living room where you'll sleep. We lost the TV remote like three months ago. I... I am the Boy Normal. Lena, leave the Hot Dog Boy alone. Oh my god. For like a second. Let's go have a private conversation. In the basement? Without any produce items? What are you doing, Lena? He's obviously evil. Oh, come on. At worst, he's stupid. Lena, we've got this bitch. He's got the tracking bug. Let him go so we can track him. Linda, we went through this with Mr. Lobster. We learned that he goes bowling. Look, Steve found the TV remote. He's not so bad. Damn it, now what? There's an attack in Florida. Now Steve can conveniently search the whole house. This was your stupid idea. Get rid of him! Steve, can you leave? Okay. Wait, just like that? Yeah, you guys are weird. Also kind of rude. Okay, look, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to come across as rude. Can we start again? But in like an hour, hour and a half maybe? Why an hour? Because Linda and I just need to be alone in the basement for an hour. Can I watch? No, stay here. What if I only listen? Wait! Here. My pragmatic sense told me I'd hear nothing, see nothing. But a more primordial call urged me to venture the depths. Something was amiss here. My motivation came from below, from the very earth itself, fate. But I didn't believe anyone would actually be naked, and I had committed an egregious wrong. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at cruising altitude. Feel free to walk around the cabin, but please respect the no smoking sign. Lena, do you think that for once you could take my sign and be serious? The target is made of nacho chips. Am I gonna need to call your ashamed parents, Lena? No. Then do not belittle your life's purpose. I'm not, I'm briefing you. Then what's my schedule? You're dropping five. All right, brief me. Now? Yes. Well, the target's made of nacho chips. And? That's it. Damn it, Lena. I almost felt bad for snapping at you. Target is still inside the mall. He should be on your HUD. I mean, it's one thing to be apathetic, but this is just over the line. I haven't even done anything. I mean, the whole day, Lena. The hot dog and all.
It is common practice to accept competitor coupons. My wins cannot be denied. Your coupons are all expired. You think I'd tolerate such an insult? I would die before I honor them. Then this shall be your grave. Your epitaph, a warning to all, of the consequences of poor customer service. Your manager will read my complaints in your obituary. I am the manager. Well then you- How about a five finger discount, Nacho Man? Excuse me, and I have a name, ma'am. It's Randy. Regeneration powers would have been an amazing detail for a briefing. Linda? What, paperweight? I wish you'd stop calling me that. Eat shit. Did you give Steve that tracking bug? Yes. Why? Are you absolutely sure? Because it just gave a movement notice, but it says it's in Florida. I'm so freaking sorry. What is seen cannot be unseen. Is this... is this cheese? You should thank me. That's top shelf Mirian cheese. Aged to its prime, it's both delicious and an inescapable savory prison. Hey kid, are you with this girl? She shot me and I'm on a rampage. I am guilty of association, yes. And perhaps also guilty of other crimes today. Then let's fight, kid! After I mangle you, I'll kill the store manager! Bring it, bucko. I would prefer a diplomatic approach if it's all the same to you, so we all get what we're seeking. Linda, what is the nature of your conflict with this man? He's a monster in need of putting down, just like you. She's a racist bitch! These are difficult philosophical questions. And Mr. Manager, what is the nature I'll of- I'll kill him! I'll kill the whole mall! So far, it seems that everyone wins if we all fight to the death. Sweet! I love setting trends! But what about you, kid? You don't seem into the idea of punching anyone's face off! It's alright, I'm laid back. I can oblige everyone's bloodlust. Okay, but I wanna be fair. She's got a gun, he's got a mop. I'm Randy! So if you want a moment to grab a weapon, I can- I am going to count to 30. Then I'm going to yank out your hamstrings and strangle the manager with them. What are you doing? Please respect my stealth. You're not a hide-and-seek champion, kid. I'm not with him. I am not involved. This is going to hurt a lot more than a little slap in the face. Wait, what? Nobody knows the real Steve. Wait a minute. You were definitely right there. To be honest, I'd hope the spikes would puncture your hand. That switcheroo was magic. You're no normal kid. You're one of Evilman's boys. What is going on? What? I... No, I, I don't know who... I'm Steve, boy normal. Box of Nachos, 93. How about you? Normal. Steve, boy. Was it a movie? I... Uh, yeah. One of those fast food things? People say I'm slow, but they're just being mean for fun. How often does a guy have hot dogs? They are a very affordable meat product, and in Germany... Day at they... the park? Could we focus away from my normalcy, or my lack thereof? Sucker punch! How's that, you weenie? How's it taste? How's it feel? The surprise is on the other shoe now! Normally you get destroyed, bitch! Randy Rampage! The Cactus King! Go, my loyal subject! Cactus Strike! Mr. Randy, I feel we should reduce the energy levels maybe three degrees. Escalating Assault! De-escalating destruction! No man can catch a rolling object. You will be doomed to only kick me ineffectually across the floor. Dang, that's a good move. So you want to buy some sunglasses? Uh... Sure, whatever. I get commission. Man, I hope the others are having a really good fight. If you'd help me out of this, I could go kill that Randy guy. My life is suffering, so yours should be too. Where are your most dangerous weapons? This is a toy store, dude. The baseball bats, you fool! Kid, I'm glad you're in here shouting at people. Thought you might head for the exit, but that's blocked now. I regret that did not occur to me. But beware, I now possess the most dangerous weapon known to man. That's unlikely, because I am that weapon. Well, day. I guess I should have expected that to- <laughs> What? What? You see, Mr. Randy, a baseball bat is capable of reflecting any projectile, so quick reflexes and an unready opponent assure a certain victory. But in victory, we're most vulnerable. Didn't they teach you? I can control cheese. Honest miscalculation for you. I've been enjoying this, so I'll strangle you slowly, and maybe you can turn the tables again. Whoa! I don't do well with the Sockies! You win! Congrats! Many would advise to pursue such a figure, but I fear I lack the discipline.
so there you have it. That's Steep Boy Hot Dog, book one. Uh, book two is going to be live in a week or two. I hope that you guys enjoyed that because uh, all those voices were a terrible choice and I have run my throat ragged in a short amount of time. Also, I flexed up my body every time I did Randy's voice and now I am physically tired. <laughs> So, anyway, if you want to read anything else that we're producing, we also have two other comics. One is called Semi-Intelligent, and it's about the monkey characters I've talked about in the past, and the other is Kit's Orphanage. I'll provide links to all three comics in the description. And as ever, if you guys like to help support us on Patreon, it keeps us alive. It really means a lot to us. It lets us keep doing stuff, and further down the line, I still plan to come back and do animations again. Uh, probably with some better art, or at least a better understanding of anatomy. Uh, because doing this kind of comic stuff has actually really helped a lot with that. It's been great practice. So anyway, that said, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video, and that you're having a great day, and that you continue to have a great day!